Welcome back to Max Life Out Cycle Talk and uh, for part three of my Conago Master Olympic build. This has been a long time coming and I'm sorry for those who've had to wait a long time to get this video. Uh, it's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest, it's autumn and so I thought I'd bring the bike outside and do the video outside versus in the garage. As you can see the bike is built. Uh, this is my final build and uh, it's a build of new components some of the old existing components and some components that I already had on other bikes that uh, I reclaimed and put on this bike. So let's do a walkthrough. Let's start out with the things that I kept. Uh, I kept the handlebars and I kept the handlebar stem. The handlebars are just the original uh, aluminum handlebars. Nothing special to talk about there, Sonelli ones. I kept the original uh, handlebar stem now the stem is interesting. The stem is a Sonelli Grammo uh, titanium and I didn't know that when I first got the bike. I wasn't familiar with it. Uh, it's a beautiful stem and one that's actually um, fairly hard to get hold of in good condition and so I'm fortunate that this is a really nice uh, piece. It was missing the stem cap at the top so where the bolt goes in and the cap goes over the top and that's a really really common thing with the Sonelli Grammo. I thought it would be really easy to buy a replacement and that's not the case. I found a, a site in on eBay that actually does a reproduction part. It's printed plastic. It's a very expensive piece of plastic but it does finish it off so I was really pleased I could get hold of that and finish the stem. I kept the original bottle cages uh, because they're wire bottle cages. I really like the look on this bike. Uh, they're not particularly secure holding the bottle. The bottle rattles around in there a little bit. So maybe in the future I will have to replace them. But until then I'm really happy with this. And this is going to be a sunny day rider. But it is going to be a rider. And that is really the only things including the frame that I kept which was original to the bike. The one thing that I did want to keep was the original Campagnola C record stem and this is the stem. The problem with this uh, seat post, sorry not stem, the problem with this seat post is that if I take it up to the camera you can see that there's nothing to hold this on with. So this slides really easy. The only way that you can secure it is by really tightening down and I'll put this on here, really tightening down on the nut onto the rails. Now what you'll also notice is that this is as it's a C record and original it's actually a nut fitting uh, so I would have to carry a wrench or a spanner with me when I'm riding and that's not in my normal toolkit. I did find a replacement allocene one that I could use and I put that on but still the problem is you have to torque that so much um, to hold it in place and then just one good bump and it slips and the saddle slips. So at the end of the day I had to make the decision that I wasn't going to use this and uh, take it off which was a little bit sad because I do like it but maybe one day I will end up building a bike that is just uh, just for show and then I can use the parts like this. So what did I replace it with? I replaced it with a lovely Thompson Masterpiece uh, seat post. It's a two-point tightening system which is really nice so that means that you can adjust this really really finely to get the right um, position for your saddle and then talking about the saddle this is another part that I reclaimed I reclaimed this part, um, saddle from a bike that I had purchased secondhand for cyclocross and the, the person I purchased thought it had this saddle and didn't want it and gave it to me I did a little bit of research it's a saddle called Trian T-R-I-A-N versus Train and it's a silver saddle, it's not a saddle colour that I would typically buy but I thought it actually went fairly well with the, the Master Olympic so I put that saddle on. It does have elastomers underneath it so it's got a little bit of suspension, it's got carbon rails, it's a really lightweight saddle. Um, I haven't ridden it yet so I, I maybe I'll do a review on that in the future and give you some thoughts on what I think about it. Everything else on the bike is brand new. I got a Campagnola Chorus 11 speed group set so brakes, brake calipers, chain ring, front derailleur, chain, rear derailleur and cassette, 11 speed cassette. All of that went on beautifully, no problem at all, was a really nice fit for the bike 
Um, I've added a pair of reclaimed, these are my PowerTap P1 pedals, and then I also reclaimed the wheels. These are wheels that I used uh, on my other bike, and I actually rode them in the Tour of California when I did an organized event that was a professional bike experience where I would ride the seven days of the Tour of California ahead of the Pro Peloton. So I put these wheels on. Some things that, that, that I really like about the bike, I really like the look of it, um, I like the colour of it and I uh, like the way it's all come together. Some things that if I was doing this more of a retro that I would probably think about is a different spoke count on the wheels and I might even think about a different spider. Uh, this is the modern four-arm spider versus the five-arm spider. Um, for, for a classic bike sometimes a five-arm spider looks a little bit more retro uh, but I bought the whole group set together and as I said, I really wanted this bike to ride. So this isn't gonna be a, a wall queen or something that I don't ride very often. I wanna be able to ride it. I want it to be feel nice. And so the, all of the modern equipment on there um, was for that reason. And, and I do really like the, the modern and the, and the old mash together. And then the, other, the last part of the, the puzzle was the, the um, forks. A good friend of mine actually saw my first video and then he emailed me and he said, hey, I have a set of forks for you. And these are a set of original Conago carbon forks off of his master that uh, unfortunately his frame is broken and uh, these are no longer needed. So he gave me these. This is a steerer tube um, version of the fork versus a quill. So if I was to replace this, I would have to put a new headset on and replace the headset. I really like the chrome forks and uh, although they are a little bit, um, they were a little bit scratched up, a, a chrome pen did that just nicely, just tidied it up a little bit. And if any, any time they actually break or I have problems with them, then I have another set of forks that I can replace them with. The frame didn't have anything done to it other than some minor touch up and believe me it's really hard to find paint to match a Conago in a model shop. Um, I had to mix up different paints, I got lots and lots of different paints. Uh, at one point I was almost down to the fact that I should just get it put in and get it resprayed but at the end of the day it's going to be ridden, it's going to be scratched and so I did get the best I could in terms of touch up so the 10 foot rule from 10 foot away it actually looks pretty good and I'm happy with that. So that's it, that's the final build of my Carnago Master Olympic. Thank you for watching this video series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, drop them in the comments. I always like to hear what uh, your ideas and thoughts are. Until next time, ride safely, keep it rubber side down, enjoy the riding, and max life out.